All right, boys. You want to quit vaping? The good news is you can. You just got to stop, bro. Hey, that's really that's really the beginning and the end of it. You just you just got to stop. I mean, first things first, whether you're a Christian or not, I really suggest praying about it. Just say a prayer. It doesn't have to be a huge prayer. Just say a prayer. I'm telling you guys, just try it. And then, you know, what I'd say is get rid of get rid of your vapes, bro. Like that's like don't keep don't keep them around. You know, even in the Bible it says something like make no like don't make provision for sin. Like get get everything away. Like when I stopped I that was like the first thing I did because I used to stockpile. Oh, I didn't stockpile. It was just like I'd hit a vape, I'd hit a vape, it would die, whatever, and I wouldn't throw it away. I'd kind of just like leave it around, and so that way, when my new vape um, was di like dying, um, and I couldn't get to the vape store right away, I still had like a bone yard to choose from. Um, it's really not that bad, guys. Like, just get rid of all your vapes. And I know it'll be tough if, like, if you hang around, uh, it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. If you hang around, um, a ton of people that vape, or if you live with people that vape, um, then it can be harder, because then you're around it, you, you need more self-control, compared to if, if you're not around if you're not around it all the time um but you just gotta like commit to it and and tell everyone like make it known like tell everyone tell your boys like look like straight up son like i'm not vaping anymore like don't let me hit my hit your vape like i'm gonna quit and in like two or three days like i know bro i'm gonna be coming to you begging you to hit your vape bro like don't let me hit it dude and like i'd say most people will honor that uh if they don't uh i mean it's still your fault um but don't <sighs> i guess like it kind of tells you something about them maybe not necessarily but maybe um but yeah man just get rid of all your vapes don't do don't get the patches. The patches are for people who don't want to quit. Like, you don't want to hear that. That's the truth. If you get the patches, you don't want to quit. If you if you go to, uh, what is it, dip or zen or, like, pouches, whatever, you don't want to quit. Don't play with me. Grow up. Um, for me, it's been, uh, I think, 30, I think it's been 40 days. Um, since I quit and I ain't going to cap like straight up the first five days are bad. Like that's what it is. They're bad. Um, but I'm telling you guys, like just say a prayer, just like ask God for strength. Like it'll be fine. Like it's not going to be easy. Well, actually it will be easy, bro. Like in the grand scheme of things, like it's easy. Like the first five days are like kind of tough. But then after that, it's like people like imagine like, oh, how, how am I ever going to quit vaping? Like, and I get it. It's like even just imagining like, OK, this is something I've been doing for like years and years to imagine like my life without doing like this at all. It's just like weird. It's just, like hard to imagine. Like you can't picture it. But I'm telling you guys, it's like, oh, how can I quit vaping? Like people think that like you, you're going to like be coming off it for like for like the rest of your life. Bro, it's five days, really. Like, really, that's what it is. It's like five tough days. And I'm, t guys, if you want to know the truth, the truth, I didn't even want to quit vaping. I really felt like God wanted me to stop because like, vaping's terrible for you. And so I said a prayer. I got rid of everything. And that's it. I'm, I haven't vaped in, I think, 40 days. So I'm telling you guys, if someone, and, and, 
I'm not strong. Like, I don't have, like, this willpower to, like, do... Like, I guarantee you you're stronger than me. So if someone who is weaker than you and didn't want to quit vaping can quit vaping, you can quit vaping. Stop it. Ooh, I can't. Dude, grow up. And I'm not, I'm not mad at you guys. I'm just saying. It's like, guys, if you want to stop, just stop. Like, it's not, like... Th that's the thing. You don't want to stop. You like the idea of quitting, but you like the comfort of vaping. Once once you like the idea of quitting more, or once you have like a health scare, which, you know, most of us are young, that health scare probably isn't going to happen for, you know, a while. But, you know, once something happens, once something pushes you over the edge, you'll stop. So either quit or don't quit. But don't be like, oh, I want to quit, I want to quit. Because people hit me up, they're like, how's... How's it going not, baby? And I'm not mad at you guys. Just because you know if you've hit me up. I'm not angry. Like, But people hit me up and it's like, I feel like they want me to say like it's horrible. Because like they keep asking me. How, it's been I'm like, dog, it's been like almost, it's been almost a month and a half. Like it's over. It's been over for four weeks. More than that. Like more than that. Like it's fine. Like why are you still, <laughs> why are you asking me? It's fine. It's like they, I feel like they want me to say like, oh, it's so bad, like a month and a half out. It's so bad so that they can like feel better about not quitting. It's like, guys, just put it away. Just put it away. Just put it down and you'll be fine. That's really it. Just put, throw it away. Here's what I did. I got rid of everything and the, I, I was still, va like I still had a live vape when, when I quit and I knew that I'd probably go looking for it because, like, it wasn't trash day. So I knew, like, even if I threw it in that, like, outside trash, boy, I'd go up in there and look for it. So I put it underwater and then threw it out. And, like, this th the thought still came to me. And I was happy. I was like, dude, it's a good thing I put that underwater. Else I'd straight up be vaping right now. Like, no two ways about it. So just, like, get rid of it. Like, make no provision for it. And like, yeah, the fight is driving your little self to the vape store. That's the fight. Stay away from people that have a vape that don't care about you, bro. I'm going to call it what it is. People that don't care about you, bro. Stay away from them because they'll give you your vape. Look, some people who do care about you will just like feel bad. Like they'll just cra crack because they just feel bad and they want to like they want you to. But a lot of they don't care about you, dude. So that's what I'm saying. Like, don't necessarily like take it as a sign of like okay like a way to tell who cares about you who doesn't because some people i'm but dude the majority they don't care about you like get away from them you shouldn't be you shouldn't be around them anyway and just like get rid of everything like if you want like replace vaping with something every time you fiend like do something else like for for the first like a little while like sometimes i'd go like like i'd hit my thumb i go and there's no nick in that. And I, I mean, would it make me feel better? Like, no. Honestly, like, not really. It wouldn't. It's my thumb. Um, but, like, it was something. And so just, like, replace it with something. Like, even if it, like, hopefully, like, you, you know, you're taking out a negative thing. You're quitting vaping. And if you also add a positive thing, like, that's, that's like, plus two, bro. So, like, every time, like, you want to vape, like... Drink water, not like soda, not like whatever, not caffeine, just drink water, bro. Or like do something, like do anything, like go for a walk. And like, yeah, you probably, the first five days, every time you fiend, like you won't probably be able to go for a walk. Like do something, like, I don't know, like do like five jumping jets, do something, bro. Or don't, but like just just quit, I, I recommend, you know, replacing it with something, but I mean... Not everyone will. That's fine. Whatever. Say a prayer. But just like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's not that bad, guys. Like, everyone make, like, I was vaping for, I started junior year. I started smoking, uh, Black and Miles. I started smoking Black and Miles. Then I went to, I want to say then I went to the light blue American spirits and then to Marlboro Reds and then to Jewel, then to Stig, 
then to forget what they were called and then finally into elf bars and um so i i was vaping for or i was like taking nick for like a, a while like since junior year i'm 23 now it's so, like seven six seven years and like guys like i'm telling you it, it's not that bad like you can do it, bro. But I will say, you know, things that, like, you hear about, oh, how, like, when you quit vaping, like, expect this, like, you know, the big one, at least for me, was I heard, like, you know, vaping, like, nicotine's, like, kind of like an upper, like, it'll suppress your appetite. Um, and so when you quit vaping, like, you'll gain weight, like, maybe you gain, like, 10 pounds. Like, that didn't happen. Like, that... <laughs> maybe it's because I'm already fat, but that didn't, no, that just wasn't a thing. Um, you know, you hear like, oh, vaping is like really bad for like anxiety. So like if you quit vaping, like maybe your anxiety will get better. Like just like baseline anxiety. No, it stayed the same. Um, uh, that's really all I can think of for like stuff like that I don't know like yeah like everything like literally stayed the exact same I just stopped vaping like that was it but I'm telling you guys it's like day one day one will probably be the toughest just because you don't have anything under like you haven't accomplished anything yet so like you'll be like nine hours in whatever and you'll be like dude like yeah I quit vaping it's been nine hours it's like does it even does this even count let me just go buy a vape like day one probably the worst but once you like get like literally like one day and have actually like done something, like you'll be fine. Like you'll have something to hold on to, and like you just gotta look at it like every second, like, cause cause here's the thing, here's the other thing, like you're not gonna be like fiending for 144, 120 hours straight, like for five days, six days, like you're not gonna be just fiending the whole time, like it's just not how it is. Like you'll be fiending a lot. Don't get it twisted. There's no two ways about it, but it's not like this, like you're going to be in this like constant state of like want, like you'll fiend like every so often. And since you haven't ever like denied your body from that craving, like you'll really like, it'll be tougher, but it's not like you're, it's not like from now until, you know, Saturday, I'm going to just be, like, shaking in this pile on the floor. Like, that's just not how it goes. Um, but the first five days, like, will be tough. And But, like, once you get, especially, like, day three, and, like, actually have, like, three days in you, and you'll be, like, okay. But, like, dude, you got to look at, like, every second of it. Like, every time, like, you want, like, you want it. Like, you got to look at it like it's a fight, bro. And just, I'm telling you, just ask God and you, like, you'll get it. Like God, two, there's two things. God has never not helped someone when they ask for it. And nobody's ever died from nicotine withdrawal. Like, like you're going to be all right. It's not that big of a deal. And, um, what else? Um, yeah, so once you get five days done, and maybe it'll be different from you, maybe for you, maybe it'll be four days, maybe it'll be six days, maybe it'll be seven days. I don't know. But like, it's not gonna be like forever. But once like the initial things done, like I'm telling you, like it, it falls off a cliff, like it's bad, it's bad, it's bad all the time, all the time. And then it just like plummets, and you're fine. Like it just completely goes away for the most, part, for the most part. Like I'm like, what I'm about to be six weeks in two days. Today's Monday on Wednesday. I'll be six weeks. And like, no, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like the other day. And I think the day before that, like it came on me. Like I really want, like I was like fiending hard, like, 
and that'll happen. Maybe it'll happen for the rest of your life. I don't know. But like it just because like you beat the five days don't doesn't mean like you won't ever want nicotine again. But it's just like way less and like you can just like forget about it kind of like it'll come on you for like maybe three, five, maybe ten minutes. But like that's it. Like it's done after that. And it'll be like maybe it won't be once a day. But if it does happen, you can pretty much bet that that's the only time that day it'll happen. Like it's not going to keep coming back at you like over and over like once you get those five days like it's done it's finished like i'm telling you guys if you can go if you can go five days you you went like you went five years like that's it like there's no difference in these days since since day five ended like since from day six until today it's all been the same like it's not like it, it was like this progressive thing it was like it was like day one two three four five and then just like that and then so and then it just like that but like i'm telling you guys like if you want to quit vaping just do it like just quit vaping like it's not that bad like don't buy the patch that's garbage like you don't want to quit vaping don't buy like these like nicotine gum like give me a break grow up be a man quit vape like just stop like so oh i'm i have to i have to <coughs> I have to replace it let me start dipping let me no stop like like literally just grow up like just deal with it like suffer like take comfort in suffering for something that's beneficial like grow literally just be a man dude be a woman be a woman grow up oh i need like you don't need it stop like, you tell yourself you need it. Like, you believe in, like, everyone else. Like, your friends. Like, your family. Like, if they were... What would you tell your best friend, bro? If they were like, yeah, I'm going to quit vaping. Were you going to tell them, oh, you need to get the nicotine gum. You need to get the patch. You can't do it. You can't do it. No! You tell them you can do it. So why can you tell that to them? Tell it to yourself, bro. Like, you're not going to fail. Like, nobody believes in any... Like, I'm telling you. With God on your side, and he will be on your side. This is a good thing. Just ask. Like, you're not going to need it. You don't need it. You, like, work yourself up in your head. Like, oh, I need all this and that. No, you don't. Grow up. That, the patch the patch and the gum and all that is for quitters. It's for people who don't want to quit. Quitters, like, they're going to give up on quitting. So they're double quitters, bro. It's, it's garbage. It's trash. It's a waste of time. It's so that the... And this is just my opinion. It's so that the... Big tobacco can reel you back right in. What, what are you buying a patch for? You're buying a patch today so you can buy a vape tomorrow, bro. Like, that's what it is. Like, you're not helping yourself. You're not getting off. You're still giving yourself nicotine. You're talking about, oh, let me wean myself off. I'm going to I'm gonna count every time I hit my vape today. And then tomorrow I'll do it half or three-fourths or, or, um, no, you're not, bro. Stop. Oh, yeah? I might throw up. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, no. Oh, I'm going to cut it in half, and then the next day I'm going to cut that in half, and then that in half. No, you're not, bro. Stop. Oh, I'm going to... Don't. Don't play with me, dude. Yeah, I try. I tried to lie to myself. Like, uh, Yeah, yeah I, I used to live in, in fantasy land, too, like a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hit my vape once an hour. And I did. And then guess what? I kept vaping for three years. Don't. 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 Either you're going to quit or you're not. Like, d stop. And I'm not I'm not mad at you guys. I'm just saying, like, these things, they're lies, bro. They're lying to you. Oh, I'm going to get a patch. For what? To keep putting Nick? You're just not vaping. And I get if, okay, I have a boy who just wanted to stop putting in his lungs. So he starts, I think I think he's zen. That's one thing. But if, you, if you're talking about, I want to quit vaping, to me, that means you want to quit nicotine. Maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you want to start getting, just be on a patch. Just stop putting your life, be on a patch. Then go be on the patch. Go waste your money. But I'm talking about people that want to quit nicotine, quit nicotine. Don't look for a new way to put nicotine, put nicotine straight into your blood. Guys, come on. The patch. And the patches are expensive. And the gums, I don't know. I don't chew gum. Like, I never tried the gum. I never tried the patch either. I just did the, oh, I'm going to wean myself off. No, you're not. You're going to quit cold turkey. Because that's what men do. That's what women do. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna wean myself. You are you a toddler? 
You're coming off the tit? Grow up. Stop. I'm going to wean myself off. Yeah, that's cute. Stop it. Quit cold turkey. Oh, you shouldn't quit cold turkey. It's harder. Yeah, if you're an alcoholic or a Xan head, you shouldn't quit cold turkey. We're talking about nicotine. It's not going to kill you, guys. Come on. I got... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. You're going to quit cold turkey, okay? It's going to be so much more of accomplishing. How are you going to feel when you quit vape? How are you going to feel? Oh, yeah, I quit vape because I took one less hit. First of all, it's not going to work. But say some one in a billion it works. I took one less hit of my vape every single day for a year, and I quit. Or I'm going to be like, yeah, dude, I threw my vape in the trash and never looked back, bro. I didn't break. I stayed tough. I stayed a man. I stayed a woman. That's it. I beat it. Like, which is going to feel better? Oh, I, I, I lollygagged down the golden, the, what is it? The, the Wizard of Oz, the yellow brick road. I, I bebopped and scatted all the way to, to no Nick. No, because it's not going to work. Stop. Grow up. Guys, I know you can do it, guys. That's what it comes down to. I know you can. Just throw it in the garbage, guys, and don't look back. If you need help, like, tell, like, you're good, you're good boys, dude. Get support, like, but don't get another vape. Don't get a pat, like, get, leave it alone, bro. Like, your boys, I'm telling you guys, unless you have, like, the world's worst friends and family, and maybe you do, and if you do, I'm sorry about that, but I'm telling you, 90 Nine percent of people have one good person in their life. Just one. That's all you need. You need God. Really, that's all. Really, all you need is God. You don't need anyone. You need God in yourself. But, like you know, your boys will support you. Like that's it. They'll encourage you. You say like, like even now, bro. Like I'm so deep off this. Like it doesn't even matter. I'll be like, hey, yeah, boys. I'm like four weeks off. I'm a month off. I'm a, um, I'm five weeks off. And it's like it's like a party. I mean, not like really, but to be like, Yer! and and it feels good. Like it keeps you mo like it, you know. And I'm telling you guys, if you like, yeah, like one day off. Like if I'm not gonna say that, but if you're like, yeah, like boys on one day off, they'll be like, like I'm telling you, they'll be there for you. No one's gonna be like, oh, that's terrible. Here's a, some nick. All right, I've just yelled for about 23 minutes. So here's the thing, guys. Throw it away. Pray, throw it away. Don't look back. You can do it. I believe in you. I there, it's like there's it's almost like there's nothing to believe in. It's just like you can do it. Like I don't have to believe. It's I know. You know what I mean? Like it's okay, guys. Throw it away. You're good. It's not that bad. All right. God bless, boys. I love you.